What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it is Cordexual here and today we're going to be talking about mining for crypto and we're going to be using unminable.com. I just want to get a couple things out the way and it's highly important that you pay attention. So when you first download unminable.com or if you decide to use an alternative program such as Phoenix Miner, LOL Miner, NiceHash, um, T-Rex Miner, they will pop up as a virus on the Windows firewall or on your uh, on your current software of firewall of whatever you have it is not a virus now if you don't want to download this then don't do it i'm not pointing a gun against your head saying do it i just want to let you know that is a false positive now as for the second thing you need a specific gpu now there's some gpus out there that will not suffice you need a minimum of four gigs of a graphics card or if you have a six gigs then you're golden so anywhere between four gigs and six gigs then you are golden anything lower than that you're probably gonna have a bad time so let's go ahead and talk about unminable.com you're able to mine for multiple cryptocurrencies i'm currently mining for shiba inu or sheeb you can do bitcoin you can do ethereum um there is a whole variety that you can choose from if it's in your realm that you want to mine for um, you want to go to the downloads, which will, links will be in the description. Please use my referral code because you and I will uh, 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 get a little bit of a, a reduction fee and it's a win-win scenario. So please use my referral code. It'll help out both of us. Win-win. So once you uh, download it, this will pop up. And we're going to hit continue. I'm going to be censoring out my wallet address just for privacy reasons. And if you do not have a wallet set up, I'll show you how to set that up after we're done setting up the uh, um, unminable. So you click continue. Then, you know, you can do your CPU, which I don't recommend, but, you know, it's not feasible of the calculation hash rates and, and getting that crypto, but you could do it. Select your GPU, select the token you want to mine for, which is going to be my Shiba. Now, if you already have an existing wallet address, then go ahead and paste that here. Um, if you don't, again, just wait for the, uh, I'll show you how to set that up. So click start. And if you also have a referral code, please click that and put my referral code in. Now it will automatically start mining. However, I'm going to stop that. We're going to hit the settings gear, the cog. Now, you want to give it a high performance to dedicate all of your um, um, power to the GPU, or do you want to set it on low? Um, if you have a six gigabyte card, then use the ETE, or excuse me, ET hash algorithm. If you are trying to use an ET hash algorithm on a four gigabyte card, it will not work. It will not mine. But if you have um, that four gigabyte uh, uh, GPU card, then use the ETC hash. Then you can give it a custom username if you want. I'll put in my referral code. And if you want the program to start every time you reboot your computer or start up your computer, then go ahead and click on. And that's essentially it. You could go to custom and and do a little bit more advanced stuff with uh, uh, custom flags with Phoenix Miner or AXM rig, but we're not going to talk about that. So I'm going to go ahead and hit close. And when I do start, I'll hit anywhere between like... 25 to 40 mega hash rate um because i have a 2070 super so now as for setting up a wallet i am currently using a metamask you can go to metamask.io or just simply google it you can also use trust wallet but in this case scenario for the first time users of wanting to set up a wallet address or a wallet i am using metamask and let's show you how to set up metamask you can get MetaMask, uh, once you Google MetaMask, you can get that on your phone, iPhone, or Android. And you can also get that as a Google Chrome or a Brave web browser uh, extension, which is displayed right here. Once you start mining for, once you start mining through Unminable, um, and you click that payout and you do not see your coin, it does not mean it's not there. It's there. You just need to set a couple things up. So you want to follow this tutorial 
which is really easy to do because you want to set up a network. You're going to be on the Binance Smart Chain Network. That's step one of setting up MetaMask. Step two is importing the token. So it will display the Shiba uh, currency. And to get that, you need to click on this link on the Etherscan and look for contract and it'll give you an address. You click on that, then you go to import tokens and you go ahead and paste that in and it will automatically fill out. Then once you import it, you're able to start seeing your SHIB. Now that's, um, you could use other networks such as the uh, Ethereum network or what we're doing is the Binance network. So when you, uh, when you now to get your wallet address, which is important to have, make sure you're on your drop down menu on the top right and select the smart chain of what you just barely added in from that MetaMask tutorial. Then it will show your address. You know, it's depending on if you want to share it with other people or not, but I choose not to, so that's why I'm censoring it. But right here, this is where you get your address. And that's where you put it in on Mineable when it asks for your address. Let me go to my thing here. So when you request a payout, it you are able to switch a network. So make sure if you're going to do the Binance Smart Chain, do the BEP20 and make sure that is selected. Make sure you use that then you're able to cash out at this threshold. I was uh, I didn't know that was an option until a couple hours ago that you're able to switch the network. Because I once I was done mining, which I would have to mine for this much coin in Ethereum to request out. So you can use the Ethereum network, but I'm using the Binance network. You can also use the KuCoin network. It's all what you want to choose. So again, choose the BEP20 for the example of this video and once you reach that um once you reach that uh um that threshold you're able to receive your your coin in your metamask wallet and that is it you can do it every 12 hours once you start reaching that threshold and whatever the money is yours it's there and now, if you want to get to the page where it's specific to you of what I was currently showing you, all you got to do is go back to your unminable program and click on stats and it will show you everything on the web page. That is it. If you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up, share, comment what you think, and I'll be covering more videos about cryptocurrency, maybe more about unminable or other things. But um, yeah, you guys take care and I'll see you guys in the near future.